Portugal. Who's your team? Obviously the USA. Of course, uh, Portugal. Second, Brazil, and third would be the United States. Portugal. Portugal. Well, normally I'd cheer for Ireland, but they didn't qualify this year. Okay. So USA is my default team, and I have a strong favoring toward Netherlands. Hmm. Germany. Uh, well, I definitely follow the United States, of course, um, but I also follow the Netherlands and Italy as well. Brazil and Portugal, America. The team is the United States. Brazil. USA. Argentina. My team is Argentina and Germany. Portugal. Uh, USA. It's, I'm from Haiti, but my, my, my favorite team is not is not on the tournament. Why not? Uh, Who's your favorite team? It's Haiti. Haiti, and they're not in the they're tournament? Not in the tournament. What happened to Haiti this year? Uh, you know, they didn't make it. This is the problem. I like Brazil. I think I see some of the Portuguese now. Yeah, I'm Have a chance? They always have a chance. Now, if Portugal loses today, every four years, like I said, Portugal has the best players in the world. They don't know how to play as a team, they play as individuals. They're never going to win. Portugal, I don't believe they win. Uh, the players sometimes uh, have problems too um, physic problems, mental problems. Portugal, Germany. One of uh, the players got the red card because uh, he tried to fight with the Germany player. And then when you got a player like Pepe that represents the whole country and he does what he did by getting a red card, it just kind of ruins it for all of us. Are you going to be torn about who you root for? America. And do you get torn because you live in this neighborhood and you want to... Yeah, I think it's it's such a dynamic sport to watch that, I mean, if there's a great goal, regardless of the team, it's like you are like, wow, that was awesome. Are you going to be rooting for Portugal at all on Oh, Monday? yeah, I definitely like Portugal. I mean, I just enjoy watching that level of play in the World Cup as, you know, it's just phenomenal. When USA and the Portugal are playing, who are you going to favor? Oh, obviously, all America, USA, <laughs> oh, because they beat Ghana, oh, and of course, US also doing a lot of progress, in, yeah. yeah, doing very, yeah. They, they are working very hard to, hard to make it. Who are you going to cheer on today, USA? The best team. The, whoever's playing well. I like both. You I like actually both. think that U.S. probably has a better chance. Do you feel torn living in the Wellington Harrington neighborhood to be having USA and Portugal playing on the? No, I think it's wonderful. I think it's a great way to bring the communities together. What do you think about the tie? It, it was a good, good game, but uh, you know the, the the Portugal, you know the good too. They came back in the tight the game. I'm happy for that, you know. What happens to Portugal now? Do they get another chance? Uh, it's really, really, really like about 5% chance they got to get in. Okay. That's impossible. They have to beat the Ghana. Yeah. The Ghana is a tough team. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Can you explain how Portugal Tied USA, beat Ghana, but was still eliminated. Sure. So er earlier in the tournament, the first game, Portugal played Germany, and they lost by, I believe, uh, three or four goals. And therefore, they were, had that minus goal differential, which means that they needed to make up a lot of ground in that last game against Ghana to be able to advance. So when the U.S. only lost by one goal and Portugal only won by one goal, they didn't have an opportunity to advance because they were still down in that goal differential. What about that German coach? So he's noted for picking his nose. And when Germany played Portugal, the German coach picked his nose and proceeded to shake Ronaldo's hand. <laughs> oh. It's all in the news. It, it's, it's... What a prankster. Yes, all right. So tell me what the Japanese did after they lost. Or did they well, lose? Well, in, in all the Japanese games, 
their fans clean up their, their section in the stadium of all their garbage that they either made or other people made. Uh, that just seems like good manners and like what everybody should be doing. That's true. And what the heck's going on in Brazil? Oh, well, the, the, the natives and the Brazilian people that live there are protesting the World Cup. And none of it is being shown uh, in the news. And uh, it's news. <laughs> it needs to be told. What's going on around the World Cup in Brazil? Because there is a negative side. It's so. a negative side. Yeah. You know, for me, Brazil lost in many ways away for a lot of people. Yeah. A part of Brazil is really happy because we play yeah. the World Cup first time, you know, play at home. But the other part is very sad because, you know, we have. They put too much money into other stuff that they don't need to, you know, instead like uh, education, transit, and the hospital, and people are dying over there because they have nothing, and it's a little sad though. Brazil had a history of being champion of the world so many times. Brazil's looking pretty good. Time says Brazil won. Um, five. Five? What did I say? Yeah. I don't like soccer, because. but I'll watch it. Okay, well, who's going to win? Who's going to win? The World Cup. The World Cup. I think Brazil may end up winning it. Really? Everybody thinks that. I think Brazil. That's what U.S. has no chance. Good, okay. Gonna, Not good. I got I to gotta edit that <laughs> out. I don't... You can't have an opinion. Yeah, it was it was the called the pool of death. The bracket that we got put in with Germany, Portugal, and Ghana all facing the U.S. Who's gonna win? Um, who's gonna win? So you believe Brazil? Yeah. If not German, then Argentina. Why Germany? Oh, Germany because they have a very good player and they work as a team. And plus, uh, they this year they are very strong. It looks like uh, they are they have more power this year. Germany is the game, the team that I think is going to win it all, because they work hard, they play as a team, and there's no selfish players there at all. There's no I in Germany. It's we. Yeah. Soccer could bring the world together, couldn't it? It does. Every four years. That's what I said. Every four years, we all speak the same language. Goal! 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 Since the game are viewable at a reasonable time in America this year. Yes. Is American productivity down? I have no idea. I, I know my productivity is down. Best. Are the guys in soccer hotter than any <laughs> other guys in sports? Because they seem to have the best bodies. Yeah, you can see more of them than in like hockey or football. Oh. And they have better hair. Yeah. <laughs> 